Hi there! So, um, today, in this video, we're going to um, solve this um, example number 3. So, if you're watching along, uh, we already solved this um, num example number 1, example number 2, and then now we're going to solve the example number 3. So, without further ado, let's go and begin solving. Okay, so um, before we begin, we're always going to um, understand what kind of signal is this and also um, the problem itself. So as you can see, um, this um, unit step, um, this one, um, this one would specifically mean um, zero if n is greater than or equal to 0 and then 1 if um okay so um as you can see this is what happened so if we have starting from negative 1 up to um negative infinity we'll we will have a value of 1 so as you can see this kind of signal is anti causal signal so if you're going to graph this again in my um, previous video you will have uh, this one okay so this one okay so um that's the thing in um this one okay so let's begin with um the first step so as always um we're going to write the formula okay now we're going to um begin with the first step so the first step as always the first step is to um substitute using the formula okay so now it would be n but this time since this is an anti-causal signal so it would start from um, negative infinity that's the minimum signal and then the maximum signal would be um, negative one okay and then negative alpha j raised to negative n so again this is an anti-causal signal and also just to set up your expectation there's another step um, so that's why it has um, a longer you will just add additional step compared to the causal signal okay what we're going to do here we're going to um, put out the negative okay so um, that's the um, first step apply the formula okay so now um, the second step would be make it a causal signal all right so this might be um confusing but let me make it clear for you okay so what we're doing here since um, we are presented with this one um, infinite geometric sequence okay this form is counterintuitive and it's also difficult to solve with um, this kind of form however if we're going to make it a causal signal and employ the techniques that were used in this one it would be much easier to do here's um in order to explain this properly so using this um graph so as you can see the outer would now be um, blank and now the inner part of the circle would now just have um, inclined stripes so what we're going to do here is we're going to um, employ that kind of strategy which is we're going to make L is equals to um, negative n 
Okay, so in that case, if we're going to do that, the result would now be negative mm -hmm. L would now be um, 1 and now positive infinity then negative L and then Z would now be L so again what we did here is just we tried to make it a causal signal but keeping in mind that we inverted it and this one and we're just going to use it and the rest it's just that we're finding the causal um, the causal Z transform it's just that um, we're going to change a bit on the region of convergence so we're going to make it continue and hopefully as we continue and solve this it's going to um, be clear to you okay we're going to simplify this it would now be okay so let's substitute so number three is a is equals to negative one z okay so um as you can see we're back into the game it's just that it's like a causal signal mm -hmm. and what we're going to do here is that evaluate the summation it would now be negative mm -hmm. a plus a2 plus a3 up to the end term okay so um so this is our x of z mm -hmm. so same strategy strategy that we're going to use we're going to um multiply this by 1 minus a again it's the same strategy that we use on the previous um, first and second example okay okay so now why do we um, have this or multiply it by 1 minus a it's because if we try to again um, solve this okay so let me rewrite this so that I could um, put the other 1 minus a here on the other side equals to okay so let's try to uh, multiply this one a times 1 would be a a times minus a would now be minus a squared this one now a squared times 1 would be plus a squared and then minus a cubed okay so the third term would now be plus a3 minus a4 okay so as you can see this one is cancelled this one is cancelled all the rest will be um, cancelled if you um, try to do this infinitely and then um, dividing by 1 minus a 1 minus a would now result into so again as you can see here what we're looking here is just we're finding the um, Z transform of this it's just that it is in the um, causal signal form and then after we find the causal signal form of this um, originally anti-causal signal we're just going to have some modification in the region of convergence okay from this again same criteria that we have here which is okay so now we're going to um, 
plug in the original value of a okay so uh, we could um, simplify this further so by simplifying this further it would now be z so solving first the on denominator would now result into and then um, taking the reciprocal would now be z okay mm -hmm. so what we're going to do here next would be multiply this by 1 over z and then this one multiply by 1 over z so that this one would be cancelled the numerator would now be 1 and then okay so um, but remember that um, we forgot the negative sign here then the negative sign here and then the negative sign here so now um, the final answer would now be 1 over 1 minus okay so um, that's now the um, final answer now x of z okay so now we're going to proceed with the region of um, convergence so um, in this one we're going to um, flip this since um, a while ago we flipped this one remember so we're going to flip this okay so by inverting so it would now be um, negative 1 okay so um, again we're using the same method i wanted to emphasize this point here because since since we have um we apply this one this one we're going to just change it here in the um, region of convergence. Basically, it just says that since we have the causal signal of the Z-transform of the anti-causal signal, the region of convergence would be flipped. So meaning it exists in order to um, um, accurately describe the um, anti-causal um, signal okay so um this now would be our final answer and this one would be the final answer okay so um just to recap and also just to make it clear okay so what we have here is that this is an anti-causal signal and the first thing that we did is just um, apply the formula mm -hmm. and after doing so we make it um, a causal signal by using this formula L is equal to negative N why do I say that this is um, a causal signal because as you can see um, it now starts from positive to positive infinity just like um, in this one okay so um, that's why um, that is um, what we did here in number two so what we did is um, same method so that we could also um, use the same technique that we use in the causal signal so this one and after that um, simplification is needed in order to have a much more simplified um, Z transform mm -hmm. and after that um, in finding the region of convergence you have to flip this 
this is what I'm saying that we have to make um, a modification in the region of convergence and as you can see um, we're just retaining the value it's just that um, we're going back into the original um, form so after that uh, we have this so as you can see um, just um, a little comparison of of our number two okay so I'm just going to copy paste the region of convergence for the number two okay so as you can see um, this one is for um, the causal signal and this one is for the anti causal signal so as you can see uh, the most different one is this one okay so it's um the absolute value of z is bigger compared to um, alpha and in this one um, alpha is bigger than and say so also as you can see um, um, in this one you could also see that um, there's really a shift um, in the region of convergence so that's um, the key feature or the difference in causal and anti causal signal okay so I hope you've learned a lot with regards to this one so um thank you for listening and enjoy learning bye bye